Equid Tutorial for Beginners, Equid E-Commerce Beginner Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about Equid, which is an incredible e-commerce software that basically allows users to go ahead and sell products on their stores, okay, start their e-commerce journey, and basically go ahead and, uh, you know, get a pretty friendly basic idea of how selling online goes on. So we're going to be talking about this in great detail and I'm going to be going through it as much as I can. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end because we're going to be creating an account. I'm going to be going through the pricings and I'm going to be showing you the step by step procedure on how the main e-commerce ventures are taken on. So to start things off, you're going to come over to Equid.com's homepage. OK, now over here you can see it says get started for free. No credit card required. So as you can see, its main point is to sell on it. OK, so you can sell on it, simplify your business and then grow. So if I were to go to its pricings to, you know, actually see what ventures will it give us. So we have the obvious free plan then we have the venture plan which is $21 per month, the business plan, which is 39 per month and the unlimited, which is $89 per month. So these are pretty decent price plans, which you can opt for if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and create it on the free plan. So once you go for the free plan, as you can see, it loads you into the registration section. So I'm simply going to wait for it to go through with that. And as you can see, it brings us over here. Your free online store is just a click away. So what it requires from us is an email, a password and a first last name. So I'm going to be using a temp mail for myself. OK, now you don't necessarily have to do this. I'm only using a temp mail because I'm going to temporarily be using this account. But if you are using it for the long run, I do suggest using a properly made you know, email. OK, so once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and add all the details. Once you do that, click on next. Now, once you've clicked on next, it might send you a verification to your registered email, or it might just take you straight into the dashboard portal or the main registration portal. So here it says, get a head start on your store setup. So what is your store's name? You know, enter the name of your store that you want it to appear. So let's say I'm going to go with John's apparel. Okay. So once you do that, here it says, what's your country and currency? So I'm going to keep that in. And once we do that, we're going to click on next. Now, once you've clicked on next, it brings you to city. So I'm going to add my city, add my postal code. We click on next again. It says, do you already have experience selling? I'm going to go with, I'm just getting started. What type of products will you be selling? So I'm going to basically go with the apparel. Okay. Then it says, are you setting up a store for someone else? I'm going to go with no. You can do it. Yes. In the case that you want to create this for another client that hired you off of Fiverr or, or anything like that. That says, do you already have a website? I'm going to go with no. I don't currently have a website. So it says, do make sure to choose your own uh, domain. I think this one works pretty cool. So I'm going to click on next. And once we click on next from here, it's going to take us to this section where it's going to have us choose our plans. Now, obviously, we're going to go with the free plan for now, but you can upgrade them in the future. But once you've done all of that, it's going to bring you straight over here. So now this is Equid's main dashboard. Now, and in the main dashboard, you can see we have the steps that we need to go through with. Then you have reports over here, which is basically a statistical section that goes through the statistics of your store and tells you what you have done, what you haven't done. It gives you an analytical uh, insight of how your website or how your page is doing. Now, once you've done that, we have other menus over here as well. So first of all, we have this menu, which is the my sales menu. Now, this is when someone is going to order from you or if there's an order process if anything like that occurs you're going to find that over here you can also find abandoned carts and you can find the customers that have ordered from you all of them will appear over here and this is where you can add contacts import your customers etc then moving on we have catalog now catalog is the section where your actual products are going to be around so 
as you can see it already gives us a lot of um you could say sample products with sample prices that you can edit and this is where you add your very own products by yourself as well that i'm going to get into in a few seconds then you can create categories of those products you can create gift cards for your store and you can also import and export different catalogs into your store if you want to then we have things like marketing and in marketing you get an overview on google ads facebook ads discount coupons newsletters automated emails and a whole lot more and then there's also a section where you can get annual reports on your page now moving down here this is where the fun part starts because this is basically your sales channels and this is where you can go ahead and sell on okay you don't only need to go ahead and sell on equid you can go ahead and sell on all these integrations that equid provides you as well so we have first of all the applications so you have equid for mobile equid for uh android and moving on you have instagram facebook and you have those link in bio things facebook messenger you can add your website on marketplaces like Google Shopping, TikTok Marketplace, Amazon, eBay, which are obviously great places to connect your store with. And obviously other websites like WordPress, Wix, Weebly, Joomla, Rapid Weaver, Squarespace, and a whole lot more. So these are basically different sales channels that you can actually opt for to, you know, increase your seller and uh, you know make sure that your growth is much better and much faster then you also have this website now the website portal is one of the most important portals because this is where you're actually going to edit how your website is going to look how you're going to showcase your product out to the world and we're going to get into a lot of this in a few seconds then we also have different handlers like instagram where we can sell on instagram and a whole lot more and so on you can also go over to design where you can change the look of your store you know we can edit different things about our store and a whole lot more and i'm going to get into this as well and we have things like payment so in payment you can you know get uh, manual payment methods and pay by cash whatever you want you can set that up over here you can set up your shipping and pickup set up different settings about your store get different integrations and so on so now, once we've, you know, actually gone through all the different you could say, categories and settings that it gives us, let's go ahead and actually start selling on this and create our website. Now, to start things off, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our catalog. And in our catalog, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new product. So once you click on add a new product, it's going to give us a lot of things for that product to add. So it says upload an image, a main image, different angles, close up and use and styles. So I'm going to click on upload image. Now, once you go to upload image as so in upload image, you can upload an image uh, like this one over here, let's say. So I'm going to upload that. Once you do that, you're going to name it. So I'm going to call it Versity hoodie. Okay. Then you can also add in your custom SKU code, which is going to be the shipping barcode. Then you can add its weight. I'm going to go with one, one kg. And you can also add its description. Now, adding a description is pretty important. Many people don't understand this, but your description basically is something that people read. And most people, they don't really make a well-structured description. They pretty much half-ass it and go ahead with it. And that is one of the most common and biggest mistakes when it comes to store ventures. So make sure to get a good description if you don't want to write it yourself have ai write it for you ai is going to make it look incredible so let's say you can ask ai write me a amazon store description for a product that is a varsity hoodie it's green and black and the material is synthetic cotton okay so you're gonna write something like that for AI to write. And once you do that, AI has written it all down. You can copy it, paste it over here, and there we go. Now we have a description. So it's that simple. And you know, it's that's all you're gonna need to do. Then you're gonna add your pricing. So in my currency, I'm gonna keep it this much, which should be around 18 to $20. Now, once you've done this, 
You can also manage stock control if you want to. Product availability, you can enable or disable it. Now moving on from your product, you can also go ahead and create categories for yourselves, okay? And categories are one of the most used things in stores, in my opinion, okay? A lot of store creators use them and they do work incredibly for users, okay? So what you do is basically you're gonna go over to categories, okay? And you can actually create a new category. Now, as you can see, I've already created a category called winter products, but let's say I'm gonna click over here, click on add root category. And here it asks me for the category name. So let's say I'm gonna add a name like hoodie, okay? So this is just for the hoodie category. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to category products, okay? Make sure to save everything as you go on. So we're gonna go over to category products here. It says assign products to this category. And I'm gonna do so. So I'm gonna add the pink hoodie, I'm gonna add this, you're gonna add that. And let's go over to the next page. I'm also gonna add this and this. So once you've done with that, you're gonna go ahead and save everything up. And once everything is saved, as you can see, you're over here now with a new category. So now I have a hoodie category for myself, okay? And trust me, creating a category is really important because you don't, again and again, have to go ahead and fetch different products. You need to just create categories and make it easy, not only for yourself, but for the other store visitors as well. Now, moving on, once we have gone through the products and categories, now is where the fun part starts. Now is where you're going to get into your website. Now, to get into your website, there are a few things you're going to want to look at. So first of all, there's the site appearance. Okay, you can customize the way your site needs to be looked, okay? You can upload your logo, background images, adjust the colors of the text and other various elements, and you can change your site's layouts and styles without getting into its code, okay? There's also things you can mess around with your site content where you can fill up your site with info about business, describe who you are, add your social skills, social proof, then you can go ahead and change your site's address by adding domains if you want to. You can also add header tags, which is good for Google Merchant Center, Google Search Console, and meta configuration. You can add your own site map, you know, index instance sites, custom JavaScript code, and a whole lot more. So let's say I'm gonna start off with site appearance, okay? We're gonna go over to site appearance and uh, I already have the site uh, started up and set it up. It's gonna bring me over here, okay? Now, if you do wanna start totally from scratch, what you can do is you can, you know, delete the main view of your site and start from a template, but I'm gonna skip all that and here we are in our site, okay? So our site is pretty standard and straightforward. So we have header and menu, cover and headline, then we have the actual store, and a whole lot more so this basically describes this thing over here describes the whole page that's happening over here okay that is being described right now now what you can do while it's being described is you know go into the individualities of it so let's say we have the navigation menu we have these images we have this uh, catalog set over here so we have uh, this page with the shop now button why clients locate us etc so you have a lot of things to, you know, get your head around and a lot of things that are pretty helpful to your store. So for instance, what you can do is basically, first of all, you can start off with the navigation. Now in navigation, we have the site logo. Okay. You can change that up. Now I added the Nike logo as a custom, you know, just for myself to pick off. Then we have the navigation menu you can basically go ahead and change the navigation menu how you want its layout to be by going into design. And as you can see, we have different designs for a navigation menu. Uh, so I just like this one because it's much cleaner and looks pretty cool as well. And we have site logo where you can actually hide the site logo if you want to. I prefer that it appears because, you know, it's just much better. Then you can add, uh, you know, transparency into it. You can uh, add a default color into your navigation menu if you want to. And then you have menu and icons as well for which you can change colors. So Equid really goes into the details of designs when it comes to editing it. Now, 
moving on, you can go into a content space where you can add some text into your design. You can add descriptions and you have images as well. So let's say in this section, you can add an image. Like, uh, let's say I'm going to add an image of this hoodie over here into my store design. Then you can also mess around with the text that you have over it. So let's say I, over here I wrote most authentic cotton creation you will find in stores. Now you can also go ahead and change the text for it. Now we also have a button over here and you can change the text for this button. So let's say I'm gonna write check out. Okay, so then moving on, you can also go ahead and add more buttons for yourself if you want to, which could have different settings for it. Then moving on, you obviously have different designs as well for this which is different layouts basically i'm gonna go with a smaller picture okay i feel like this one looks pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead with that and again you can change the colors and change the designs for individual components if you want to then moving down here you can go further on into the product space where you can you know check different product pages you can manage different products that you have you can also head over to the different pages of your store. So let's say over here, I'm gonna go over to the catalog page. And once you open up the catalog page, as you can see, it loads things up for you like this. And look at this, we have winter products. So this is the category that we add where you can get the feature products into your winter section. You can obviously go over your, let's say varsity hoodie over here. You can also see the checkout page where you can choose the different variants that we added. Then we have add to bag where we can, you know, see the description as well and a whole lot more. So, you know, it basically sets our store up pretty well and it gives us a pretty good design scheme. Now, once you get, you know, a pretty well off design scheme, what you can do moreover with it is basically you can go ahead and publish it. And once you publish it, basically this is up for grabs now. Like many people can visit your store, they can view your site. They can order your, you know, uh, products and they can order your catalogs and a whole lot more. So this is how my website looks right now. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty straightforward and pretty fun looking website. So let's say over here, I'm going to click on check it out. So it brings me straight to the apparel. Then I'm going to go over to this product over here. Now, in this product section, as you can see, we have this hoodie. I can pretty easily go ahead and choose different variants for myself. Let's say XXL. Let's go ahead and click on add to bag. And once it's added to bag, there's a whole checkout page over here as well. Now, the checkout page obviously won't go further than here because I haven't added any payment providers. And I'm going to show you how you're going to add them in a second. But once you're over here, you're going to add your email. Now, adding the email basically leads to customers being added into your store where you can send them future cold emails if you want to. But yeah, once this is done, you know, pretty much your store is good to go. Now, let me show you how you can, you know, fully complete it with adding payments and all and, you know, setting up your shipping and pickup. So in payments, you can choose what action do you want. So you can either pay by cash, okay? And it's a manual payment basically. Or you can go ahead and pay by some account. You can add your account or you can also go ahead and choose online payment. So we have two checkout, POS pay, and a whole lot more. So let's say I'm going to choose two checkout, right? Which gives us a whole uh, features of different credit cards and debit cards and also bank transfer. Now, if you have a two checkout account, you're going to basically add your account number and secret word. Now, two checkout is going to be a portal. It's going to be a portal that's going to connect you and some bank or credit or debit card and that portal will connect directly to Equit. So whenever someone sends you money through the two checkout portal, it's gonna go straight to your bank. So you can set up your payment over here so people can actually send you money. And then moving over, we have shipping and pickup. Now you can add in your shipping, your local delivery, your self pickup, and a whole lot more. And adding these things in your store, I feel like is pretty important because adding custom ship up will allow you to, you know, make at least a little more money on the account, make a little more profit and, you know, pay the shipping providers. So yeah, pretty much that is how you are going to start your e-commerce business store on Equid and how you can start off your e-commerce ventures. 
Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.